now we'll see what is a generative AI or a gen AI so on my screen you can see a typical definition of generative AI in plain English that it is a branch of AI that focuses on creating new content such as text images audio and video so let me explain you in a simple term so when I was a kid my mother gave me one ABCD book okay and I was trying to learn ABCD that A for apple B for ball or C for cat and D for dog now I learned that okay for apple before ball and after few days my mother asked me to write your name in English and I wrote my name as a Vishal so how I could do that because I learned ABCD and then based on my knowledge what I learned in that ABCD I wrote my name as a Vishal because I know I can write that name so the same way Gen AI works so we can s provide some input data to machine learning model okay so this is your input text data that we can call LLM or large language model so where we can provide a huge amount of text input data or it can be your media data or it can be your image data okay so we can provide a huge amount of data to your model and then ask your model to provide input based on your prompt so for me just to my human intelligence okay I learn A B C D and based on that that was my input data and based on that input data I can generate my name that is my output that is my human intelligence so same way it applies for Gen AI so for Gen AI we can provide input data in a form of like example A B C D and we can write our Gen AI to okay now you can write my name so this is a simple example so you just take an example of your chat GPT or BARD so whatever you ask to chat GPT it can give you an answer or it can give BARD can give you an answer so these are nothing but a Gen AI tools so simply let me go to the one of the tools I will show you now just take example of this Gen AI tool so BARD is again one Gen AI tool based on the Google's LLM model so here I can just ask anything okay create me essay on my best friend and it will create me essay on my best friend so this is like gen AI tools they are creating this essay creating a content in the form of text now this is creating only in form of text because this tool support only a text format there are other tools which create images which create video based on your prompt so prompts is whatever input you are giving so this is one kind of gen AI tool again the same chat GPT here you can ask okay give me simple python hello world program okay so it gave me the program so it is generating text based on the data it is trained on so chat GPT already trained with open AI and it has provided a lot of data and it trained on these so GPT is nothing but generative pre-trained transformer okay so it is again the gen AI tool so these are the gen AI tools which trained already on the huge amount of data and it can create or it can generate output based on the prompt we provide so that is called as a gen AI tool so here let's go back to uh, original slide now why this gen AI is trending nowadays because I'll try to explain you the difference between the gen AI and our traditional AI so just here example of the classical our traditional AI and you can see one model building so if you are not aware of the basics of uh, machine learning do not worry I'm just uh, trying to cover uh, overview of the machine learning models here so any machine learning model you have to provide some data you have to train your model and based on that the train data your model will provide you an output so input then your training data then train your model and output that is the basic flow of any machine learning model so let it be a chat GPT let it be a BARD or any LLM large language model so you have to first provide some input data in order to get output from your machine learning model so in traditional machine learning model you have to provide your training code you have to provide some data and based on your data your model will provide output so this output can be any form of like prediction so it can predict your weather forecast so any machine learning like say suppose example any weather machine learning model so you have provided huge amount of uh, values of your temperature your other weather data and based on that historical weather data it will trying to predict your a weather forecast okay that tomorrow there will be rain tomorrow there will be like uh, less rain so this kind of prediction it will create or a classify so suppose you have provided 100 images to your 
a machine learning model so i have created one project in vertex ai where i provided a different images to my machine learning model and then i trained model on vertex ai and based on that training data it classified my images in a different category based on the label i have given so here you can see the example that okay i will train my model this is a cat i will provide 100 cat photo then i will train my machine learning model okay this is a dag this is a dog and i will provide 100 a dog photo and then i will ask my model to classify which is a cat which is a dog then my machine learning model will classify that images okay this is cat images this is dog images so based on a training data my machine learning model either i will predict or classify or clusterize okay so this is a traditional ai based on the training data it will provide you an output so that is how the training traditional machine learning model will work now let's go and check how gen ai works so in the gen ai as well you will provide a training code you will provide label data and also you will provide unlabeled data so what is mean by label data and unlabeled data so in label data so say i am providing cat image and i will mention okay this is a cat i will provide dog image i will mention this is a dog so this is my label data because my model will identify this is cat image this is dog image so this is called a supervised learning and in unlabeled data this is kind of like semi supervised and unsupervised learning where i will just provide some data to train my model so i will provide huge amount of text data i will provide say example i will provide huge documentation of python okay how python programming will work and then i'll ask my uh, chatbot provide me a python code for xyz then my based on that training data based on that python documentation provide it will give me the python code so that is called as like unlabeled data or unstructured data i would say and based on that data our model will train and it will create a new content so it can create content on the text like our chat gpt and body is creating it can provide a code like we saw an example or it can create image so currently we didn't see the example of image but in near uh, future i will create some videos where using api i will create some uh, like jna application to create images as well so i'll create some projects on that as well so currently here you can see this is how the gen ai application will work and now you can see the example so here it will just ask me to read a book you can just ask your model to read a book and that book will contain the information okay this is cat this is dog or all kind of feminine animal and then it will ask a question okay now what is the cat so it will provide information based on the book it read so it is same i give the example of learning abcd and then creating your own name or writing your own essay because you learn only abcd but based on that your own intelligence you created like huge english text or essay so you are creating or you are generating content based on the data you got trained on so that is how a generative ai works now i hope you got some basic understanding of generative ai and the traditional ai